Hi there and welcome back to another WordPress tips and tricks video from me Mark from High Rise Digital. If you're liking this video then please click the like button and if you want to watch more videos of me talking about WordPress hints, tips and tricks then please consider subscribing to this channel. Now this video is all about post states uh, and let's talk about quickly what post states are. So have you ever been on the page listings uh, page in WordPress and you see that some of the pages have a little label next to them uh, for example uh, draft privacy policy posts page and home page are the most common ones and they're telling you the status of that page because it has a special status in WordPress well did you know that you can actually add your own post statuses if you are building a WordPress website or plugin that adds special statuses to specific pages and you want to tell the user about those statuses and you can do it really really simply so let's dive in and have a look at how we actually get that done so here is a local example of a WordPress website on my uh, computer here and you can see I've got a post listings page open here this is just in the WordPress admin and looking at the pages section and you can see that some of these pages have got those special labels. So here I've got a page called blog and that's been assigned to be the page to be used to list all my posts on. And because of that, it's got the status or the label of post page. Similarly here, we've got a privacy policy. WordPress is telling me this is a draft page. It's not been published yet. And it is the page that's been set to show the, the website's privacy policy. And then down at the bottom here, this page is being used as the front page of the website. So when you land on the home page of the site, we use this page rather than showing your latest posts. Now, we have a plugin that enables you to set any of these pages to be used as your 404 page. It's called Fantastically Flexible 404s. And what would be really good is to have a label next to the page that you've assigned as the 404 page. Uh, and we can do that really simply. So I'm just going to dive in over here into my code editor. And this is the functionality that does this. Now, WordPress has a filter called display post states. And it simply contains an array of the post states that you want to add to a particular post. Um, and then it, it sort of outputs those, as we've seen, with a comma separated list, if there's more than one, next to the, next to the post title. So here I've got a little piece of code. I'm just going to uncomment the filter so it actually starts to run. So you can see here we're adding, uh, we're hooking in or hooking into the filter called display post states. When we do that, we're going to run my function, which is this one above. Um, we're giving it a priority of 10, which is the default. And we've got two arguments passed to our function, which is here. So here I'm just calling it add 404 post state, which is obviously a nice uh, sensible description of name for it. And with the two arguments passed in are the post states argument. Now that is the current array of post states that we want to, uh, uh, that this particular function is, is getting delivered into it. And we get the post object. And this allows us to do something based on a specific post. So in this particular example here, I'm saying if the current post ID matches a specific page ID, in this case 33, you'd probably want to get that dynamically, of course. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to add an item to the array that exists and we're going to add it called 404. So we're just going to make that a translatable string as well. So what will happen is that um, it will append 404 as the post state. And then as with all filters in WordPress, you must return the filterable thing. In this case, it's that first argument called post state. So if we don't do that, the whole thing will break and all the uh, post states won't work at all. So let's just quickly save that particular piece of code, nice and simple. And then we're going to flip back to our browser and refresh. And what should happen is we get a little 404, there we go, next to our page that we had as 404. This is the page uh, ID of 33, which is why that's working. And that's how you add a really simple post status onto a page or a post in WordPress. And it enables you to highlight some pages or posts or custom post types that you might want to show the user that have special status, depending on what your site is doing. And again, if you found that useful, then please click the like button. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you want more of me talking about WordPress hints, tips and tricks, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you then.